Hello everyone, welcome back to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at The Maze Runner, Chapter 20. This <laughs> chapter starts with the Griever slowly, well it's not even slowly, <laughs> climbing up the wall into the vines to get Thomas and Albie. And at this, at this moment, Thomas is like, okay, I've tried everything I can, it's time to move. And he grabs a vine, and this is this is pretty crazy sounding, but he grabs one of the vines and he swings over to one of the other vines on the wall. And maybe he kind of jumps over, and then he grabs another vine, and then he grabs on another vine, and he slowly starts swinging away from the griever along the wall. Now, he's he's pretty freaked out, <clears throat> but he's trying to make sure that he doesn't die and that Albi doesn't die, or that at least if he dies, Albi won't die. So as he's swinging away, he looks back and he notices that the griever is following him. And he's just for this small moment, oh, finally, something is going right. And the griever is not trying to get Albi anymore, but is actually going towards Thomas. And so, Thomas keeps going and swinging along the vines and he's doing really well and he's slowly trying to get off the vines because it's not going that fast and he really wants to run. And so he will swing and he'll slide and catch another one. And he'll swing and he'll slide a little bit and catch another one. And so his hands are burning red, but he's kind of sliding and sliding and sliding. Finally, he gets to the ground. Oh, sorry. He doesn't get to the ground. It's dark out, he can't see what's going on, and boom, he crashes right into a wall. And he starts to fall down, and the griever s tries to grab him, but just before the griever grabs him, he grabs onto another vine, and he just kind of holds himself up. He swings, he kicks the griever's hand, but then he falls. <laughs> into the griever's body, gross. He pulls himself out kind of, and um, he lands onto the ground. He feels something burning on his back, and he continues to run. And this, this whole part is really kind of hard to follow because there's a lot of action and different things going on. And it, for me, it was a little bit difficult to understand exactly what was happening, um, but, you know, it, it's chaos, and it's crazy, and everything is moving so fast. So now, Thomas is just running, running, running. For some reason, his mind clicks on. Don't forget where you're going. And so as he's running, he's running, turn right, turned left, turned left, turned right. And he's memorizing where he's going in the maze. So that way, if he does get away from the griever, he can come back and not be lost in the maze forever. But he's just running as hard as he can and he can feel his body is going to explode. I mean, he, he's gonna give up. His body can't go any longer. And then he stops. Right in front of him are three grievers rolling, I believe, towards him and behind him I'm guessing is the other griever we call that stuck between a rock and a hard place meaning you're just really really stuck between two terrible decisions well vocabulary um, the first vocabulary is pendulum we might have had this vocabulary before but if I just use uh, this headphone as an example a pendulum is, um, you, maybe you see it in like an office. It's like a little tuk, 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 tuk. Okay. It can be on a clock. It can be like several little balls. And you know, you hit one ball and it bounces and it hits the others and they bounce. Um, that's a pendulum. It just swings back and forth. And that's what Thomas is doing with the vines. Swing, catch, swing, catch swing catch um yeah kind of like monkey bars if you know what those are 
Then the next one is socket. Socket is like a hole that something can fit in. Okay. So in this case, it was his arm. Your shoulder is a socket. And your arm part is stuck inside this socket. Uh, if you've ever had like a Barbie doll or an action figure, their legs, if you really want to, you can pull them out. You can pull them out of the socket. And that's the little um, holding part. Some of them, you can pop them back in the socket. Others, you can't. But that's what he's talking about. When he grabs onto that vine, oh, it pulls him so hard that it almost pulls his arm out of his socket. Those were the only two words that I had for this chapter in vocabulary. If there were words that I skipped or missed, please write them in the comments or remember them so we can talk about them when we get together. Discussion question I have for you. What do you think the scariest part of the griever is? This one could almost be um, used for that last chapter, but you know, as Thomas is running and he just feels so much fear inside, what, what aspect of the griever do you think is the scariest? Uh, the slimy body? The sounds that it makes? The needles poking out? The arms grabbing? Right? There's so many different crazy things on this thing that could be super freaky. What? What scares you the most out of all of them? Of course, please write your own discussion question. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.